morning. Let's talk some statements here on the AM show. Now, pre-wedding photo shoot is the latest trend in town among couples uh, who plan to get married. A number of these photos went viral on the internet and couples are getting very creative with it these days. Uh, this brings us to the question whether or not these photo shoots are necessary. We hit the street to find out. Giving me a kiss, say honey, honey. Play me a song, super melody. Maybe some will say, or the baby. Wait, give me on your message. You came along when I was nobody, nobody. Then show me how to be somebody, somebody. Hey, you better hold it back. She fell. Oh, I go die with you. Get a bad boy. Be so bad. This is our my love, my love. I think pre-wedding shoots are important, but birthday shoots, they are not necessary for you to do photo shoots because birthdays are always yearly, but pre-wedding, weddings are just once in a lifetime, so you need memories from them, but the birthdays, it's just a waste of money. Pre-wedding and pre-birthday shoots is necessary because when it comes to the pre-wedding shoots, it would allow the couples to see the moments they spend together before the wedding, the actual dates for the wedding. Pre wedding and pre-birthday photo shoots is not really necessary for me because I think that it's a waste of time and then resources. Nowadays, there are lots of care cost that is incurred during the wedding. So the people can actually use that money to pay for some of the debts and also save up for business because the wedding is just a one-day event and whilst marriage is a lifetime, they will need the money for other businesses. You could just take a picture of your wedding card and then also send it to your friends on the various social media platforms. So it's not really necessary to have a pre-wedding or birthday photo shoot. I think pre-wedding and pre-birthday photo shoot is necessary. For me, I'm a model, I love pictures. And then wedding, pre-wedding and pre-birthday um, photo shoot is a day that you will never, it will never come again. It's a wedding, a day that will never even repeat itself. So for me, I love pictures. I love photo shoot. I'm a model. So I think pre-wedding photo shoot and pre-birthday photo shoot is very necessary. Wedding or pre birthday photo shoots is not necessary to me because it's a waste of money and I don't see the essence in that. That's my opinion on that. Give me a kiss, say honey. honey. Play me a song, super melody. Give me some people say, or the baby. Wait, give me on your mansion. From that ahead of his concert, which is slated for the 28th of this month at the National Theatre, I speak of his paid a catsy call of former President J.J. Rollins to formally invite him. This, was, uh, this is what transpired at the house of the former president. No, we have a lot of cultures in, in, in our country here, so we decided to go to the water region and pick the Bobobo which uh, became um, a household uh, music uh, in Ghana here and beyond. And so um, now, but we decided to go to other regions to pick the coaches to record. But because uh, we were so successful with the first one, we couldn't go, we couldn't, uh, go to another region. We had to record another one, Bobobo again. And that one too has been successful. Now the vision is that we want to um, help um, uh, little children yes, please, with all, with, with all respect, those who are from poor family, to record, um, register for their NHIS. So we have this, they decided to host a concert um, on the 28th of this month. And so we deem it fit that with all your admonitions and advice you have given us over the years, our one has to take Ghana as his own. And the nation building is a collective interest. And so we have decided to come and plead to your Excellency that if time will permit on the 28th, we will want to have you present at uh, the National Theatre to grace the occasion for us. Your Excellency, this is our mission. Yes, you know. The 
And with this morning, Guinean rapper and CEO of Saxis Music, Sarko, they thrilled fans at the One Africa Music Festival in London. He performed a number of, of street anthems uh, to the delight of the audience at the SSE Arena Wembley. Some other performances on the night include the Vido, Flavor, P Square, Techno, Olamide, Banky, W, Tiwa Savage, MI, and many more. <laughs> Maybe that was Sakodi. Sure eh? <laughs> uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's my first time too. You know, watching him do the zone tour and all. Yeah, I, I was surprised. But it was too like okay, yeah. That's I have never seen him make moves like that. Yeah, uh, maybe because it's London. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> he took all the moves to London. Yeah, he had to show them what we've got here yeah. in Ghana. But this yeah. is cool. This is really cool. Mm -hmm. And this brings to mind a subject that's been trending in Ghana ever since. Uh, nominees of various categories in the BET Awards. Africa. Exactly, yeah. particularly the African Act Acts. category. Yeah. And we know Stone Boy is there. Mm -hmm. Even though a lot of people say there's only one Ghanaian, I say we have one and a half. That's only one Ghanaian in there. Plus a half of Mr. Easy. We, want, <laughs> we own him too. No, oh, okay. He we has own been, him too, Nigeria. Oh, he, he, he came to Ghana, he schooled here in Ghana. Yes. Doesn't make him so Ghanaian. we own half of him. Okay. So we have Stone Boy plus half of Mr. Easy. Representing oh, Ghana. Okay, so what, what you're saying right now is that uh, Stone Boy should, should have add, added uh, Mr. Easy to the list mm. because he came out to say that we have only one well, Ghanaian. Yes, in he there. should have added half you of know. Mr. Easy to the list. Okay, from Mama V. Yeah, but we, what's Shatawali's issue with this and his BC certificate and not being nominated? People are trolling him on social media. <laughs> so just to, you know, get people to keep quiet, he said he doesn't care. But what's the link, Shatawali? <laughs> Uh, movement members, what's the link? <laughs> no, this, this, uh, well, Shata is a very good friend. There's mm -hmm. no link. He's just yeah. being Shata. Mm. Yeah, Shata is just, just being Shata. Shata and some people have also said that, listen, the fact that the VGMAs, uh, you know, didn't include him and we don't seem to recognize him mm -hmm. is also a, a, factor yeah, a factor in not being nominated outside so it's it's like is he local champion is that how he feels yeah his friend <laughs> i don't know how he feels but look well, that's, what, <laughs> that's what people are saying but we love him we um, love him we oh, love I know. him whichever way i know we love him i know i yeah. do i love him too 
And I think Shata Wale <laughs> is extending the conversation. People say without him, there's no Ghana there's music. There's no Ghana music. Yeah. yeah. You listen to radio and his music is all over. Is all over. It's taking over. over. Like, taking like, over. Like, taking over. <laughs>